Hi everybody, thanks for watching. This is the Shark Cordless Pet Perfect 2. It is a cordless vacuum cleaner, like a little dirt double to use another brand, uh, that has 18 volts of cordless power. Uh, we bought it today at a big box store, but they sell them pretty much everywhere, and they're all around 50 or $60, and that's right in line with what we paid for this one. Um, this is, again, designed for pets, really, and that's what we're going to use it for. You don't need to get the big vacuum to do the stairs, or you can, but it's a pain in the rear. Uh, I'm going to open this up today, and we're going to charge it, and uh, I'm going to give it a little review on our stairs covered with our dog's hair. We just recently got another dog, and it's a bigger dog, and it has more hair, and it sheds a little bit more, so this is going to help keep the house nice and tidy. Let's look at this up close. What they say on the side is has twister or that cyclonic technology to help deliver strong uh, continuous suction it's got a charging stand which i'm looking forward to a uh, bagless dust cap to throw all the hair out and a soft grip handle just to help you feel out and it's got a a, a little um, tool in here with these rubber well, almost rubber these nylon tips here this is the head of it but it also has some other tools i'm trying to find where that is there it is it has uh, cleaning tools, like a little crevice tool and this weird curved anteater looking thing. And then the normal motorized brush, which is what you typically use with little nylon bristles. Uh, so it's pretty uh, pretty packed with features. Let's, uh, let's see how it works. Okay, I fast forwarded that so you could enjoy my favorite banjo song. I hope you liked it. And uh, here's here's the unit itself. You can see why they call it the shark. Kind of has that, you know, nice low drag shark-like form to it. Uh, feeling this, it does have a nice rubber handle with a couple of grips in there to give you a secure grip. And it's balanced okay. A little nose heavy, but you want it to be nose heavy to keep it down on the ground. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see how long it takes to charge this thing can be mounted it's got a couple regular screw slots in there for you to mount it on the wall uh, which we think we might do and a standard non-grounded plug so we could plug this in probably in our utility closet with our other cleaning supplies and that'll stay nice and charged um, back here it looks like there's another spot for yeah uh, on the stand itself You can put the accessories, and this puppy will stay right there. Somehow, yep, you've got to fit these onto there to snap into place. There it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in just down here in the basement. I'm down here to keep out of the kids' noise level range so you can hear what I'm saying. But I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and we'll let it charge. First thing I'm looking for when I do this is some sort of indication, there it goes, that it's actually charging. And while I was saying that, that green LED came up. And I don't know if that means fully charged. I'll read the manual real quick. And we'll see. Let me put you on pause. All right. Uh, the on-off button is right below that green LED down there. And it is covered with a hard plastic protecting piece of tape that I guess keeps it from being switched on at inadvertently in packaging. Because uh, just a second after plugging it in, I tried it, and it seems to have really good suction. So I think it comes fully charged. Uh, we are going to give it a few more minutes just to make sure and then I'll take it over and try it on the stairs. Here's the business end right now. It's just an open hole, no attachment to it. Press on. Pretty good. So we'll, let's try one attachment. This is the uh, motorized head. It's got a couple prongs there that I'm sure will fit into that. Here we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Here we are in the main stairs. I've got the unit right here. We'll pull it off. I'm going to use a regular. Uh, attachment that has the power head on there and we're going to see what we can get up um, let's try it
Okay, kind of a uh, real quick superficial job. I think I had my button away for most of it. Uh, I'm not going to try the crevice tool just yet, but it fluffs the carpet up. I can see the kids spilled something there, so I'll have to get a damp rag on that. But if I pop open the top by pressing that button, let's see. How do I release this? Like that. Alright, pretty disgusting. That is, uh, that is German Shepherd puppy hair. So, a few seconds. Let's see if I can get that in the camera view. I'm sorry, folks. German Shepherd puppy hair and dust. And uh, the dust is probably from all the masonry work we're having done outside. We're building a couple retaining walls and they were cutting it today. Uh, but really effective. Uh, the only choke point I see for this whole thing is this little um, hard filter here. It's not quite cloth, it's not quite nylon, somewhere in between. Um, but I can see that being a choke point for effective uh, airflow. But you got to get something to stop the uh, dust, right? So I'm going to put this back in, and uh, right now I'm really digging this. You just put it in like that, okay? Snaps into place. I always like a resounding snap. And I can tell you this, my kids are going to hate it because they could not lug the vacuum up, so they got out of doing the uh, stairs. But now that we have the Shark cordless 18-volt powered uh, vac, you know, I can say, go do the stairs, girls, and they have no excuse. Thank you, Shark. Hey, pretty cool. Day one, no complaints. Uh, I'll come back to the video, and if it's a piece of junk, I'll put a note on there a couple of months from now so you get some real feedback. But that's it. That's the unboxing and the review for the Shark Cordless Pet Pal 2, I think it's called. That's my video. Thanks for watching.